Welcome everyone back to Weekly Weather Updates and this evening we're going to have a look at the latest on the heatwave we have at the moment. We've seen 30 degrees today down in North Alt in London, very hot conditions but we also do have a quite a severe thundery breakdown in coming for some areas, especially in the west over the coming days with yellow thunderstorm warnings in force currently for Wednesday and Thursday. We'll Sort of focus on the short 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 range models today, having a look at these thunderstorms and the top temperatures we could be seeing um, in areas in the east over the coming days. So do remember if you enjoy my videos, make sure you do like and subscribe, and do remember to follow on Twitter as well. The links in the description. So we do have a look at the latest from the UK Met Office for their thunderstorm warnings. You can see at the moment. On Wednesday, we do have a yellow warning for thunderstorms across the southwest into southern parts of Wales as well. We do also have a larger thunderstorm warning for Northern Ireland and most um, of sort of the Midlands into North Midlands and then parts of northeast England and pretty much the whole of Wales. So if we do first have a look at the Wednesday warnings from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mainly dry for many areas Wednesday, but there is a chance of heavy rain and lightning bringing some disruption. If we do have a look at the further details, you can see an area of showers will move northwards across southwest England and south Wales on Wednesday. Whilst many areas will see little rainfall, there is the chance of some very heavy and thundery downpours developing, particularly later in the afternoon. Where these do occur, we could see 30 to 50 millimetres of rain, and that could fall in less than three hours, though only a few spots will likely see these totals. Lightning, lightning will also be a hazard during the day. So you can see it's high impact, low likelihood at this stage, as it does look like it's going to be a broad area of showers, uh, and there is a small but a decent chance, nonetheless, of some severe thunderstorms um, in on Wednesday afternoon especially into the evening we'll have a look at the short range models in a minute and you can see what this warning is out for um, as it does have initial bands moving up northwards and there could be some thunderstorms within it if we do have a look at the larger yellow thunderstorm warning because it's from 11 a.m to 8 p.m on thursday heavy showers and thunderstorms on thursday uh, have the potential to bring surface water flooding in a few places and disruption to travel it does look like there's going to be much higher likelihood of thunderstorms on uh, Thursday, a more widespread risk and a more large area of Cape, as we'll see in a moment. Um, and it does look like there's going to be a lot of scattered showers. Some areas will miss out, of course, but some areas could see a lot of rain and some severe storms, as you can see by this warning. Following overnight rain and showers, more intense showers and thunderstorms are expected to break out fairly widely from late morning before easing during the evening. Whilst most areas will miss the most intense storms, torrential downpours are possible in a few places. Where these do occur, there is the potential for 20 to 30 millimetres of rain in less than an hour, and up to 40 millimetres in two hours. This would have the potential to generate surface water flooding, especially if it falls over an, over an urban area. So you get once again, high impact, low likelihood. We are a couple of days out from these warnings, um, or this Thursday warning at least. So it is subject to change. Maybe the warning may be expanded, may be decreased, and perhaps we could even see an amber warning put on force if we do see um, an area that is sort of popping up on the models as having a higher risk so we'll have to keep an eye on it over the coming uh, coming sort of day or so but at this stage it definitely does look like um, these areas are the most favored for the storms but more widely there will be general showers and still the potential of a few storms outside of these warning areas so if we do now go through the WRF run, having a look at the Cape charts, and this does well correlate with those weather warnings. You can see at the moment there is a bit of Cape in the far west, but nothing really too much of it at this stage. Maybe the odd shower breaking out, but nothing too significant as we are still generally under higher pressure. But the pressure is lowering as we head into through, through Wednesday, and you can see in parts of Ireland, and then you can see into that yellow warning area we do have tomorrow we have some significant Cape starting to build up with the showers um, and that could provide a few thunderstorms so you see some significant cape across northern scotland as well but it doesn't look like there's gonna be too many showers breaking up there you can see overnight uh wednesday it does look like cape diminishes so it still could be some fairly decent showers around but nothing too uh, active inside of lightning but you can see as we head through morning into thursday afternoon you can see the widespread cape that does build up now this is just fuel for the storm, so it doesn't show you exactly where the storm's going to build up, but where we do see instability and showers develop within this area of significant cape, it gives it a higher chance of potentially seeing it turning more active into a thunderstorm. So, again, it will be hit or miss, 
but there is a significant risk in these spots. As we head through the afternoon, it does move northeastwards and slowly diminish throughout the afternoon. Uh, and then by Friday, it does look like it will just be more showery. If we do have a look at the precipitation, you can see at the moment there's the odd shower over Scotland, but nothing too significant. We can see showers start to develop tomorrow in the far southwest and parts of Ireland as well, potentially heading into northern Scotland, maybe a few storms breaking out there. There is Cape around, um, but not a massive um, precipitation signal, but a few showers potentially. But you can see significant storms potentially breaking out through Wednesday evening into uh, into the uh, Wednesday afternoon into the evening. Significant storms across Ireland, all the way through southern Wales into the southwest as well. Potentially seeing some significant conditions with that. You can see over through Thursday morning we see a large area of showers um, and cloud developing as we do have an occluded front moving up, which is providing the instability for these storms. So a large area of rain moving across Northern Ireland, and with it. As that sort of moves northwards in the more unstable air behind it, we do see some storms break out through Thursday afternoon, especially in central areas, down into the southern Wales, parts of eastern Ireland, northern Ireland, into Scotland as well, and of course down in the southwest. It's got the highest chance of storms. There is still, of course, chance of showers and storms elsewhere, but these are where the highest risk is at this stage. It does clear through, and then we see there's still a lot of showers, um, but they do look more scattered and lighter as we head into Wednesday. As you can see there, significant risk coming on the WRF. And if you are in these areas where we've got the significant cape, we've got the yellow warnings, and we do have these precipitation signals starting to come up, do make sure you keep an eye on the forecast as it could be beautiful weather in the morning, but these storms can build very, very quickly throughout uh, lunchtime into the afternoon. So just do, do make sure you keep an eye on the radar and um, for any subsequent warnings that could be updated over the next sort of 24 to 36 hours. If we do have a look at the RPED, we'll go through the temperatures first, then we'll have a look at the precipitation as well. You can see today afternoon we saw 30 degrees down in North Dalt. It was only forecast to be around 27, 28 degrees in the London area, but widely against high 20s. So, of course, there will be the localised 30 degrees as we have seen in North Alt, um, where we do just see that sort of microclimate allow it to rise. But widely, mid to high 20s, it's been a beautiful day. I hope you have enjoyed it and got out there um, for another proper, proper summer's day. And I know a lot of people have been disappointed with the cloudy weather we've had recently. Um, but I hope these sort of few days of very hot and pleasant weather have sort of appeased your appetite um, as we head potentially into winter. Um, and uh, before we start to see snow signals. But you can see that over the coming uh, day, we still do have quite warm temperatures around, even into Wednesday, especially in the east. Again, 27, 28, maybe 29, or even 30 degrees is possible. Once again, in the central areas, into eastern areas tomorrow. Now across the southwest and parts of southern Ireland, temperatures will be down. Maybe only getting to around high teens, maybe 20 degrees. It will feel pretty humid and there will be, of course, those showers and thunderstorms around, which is why these temperatures will be uh, a bit lower than we have seen over the last couple of days. But that is going to slowly progress eastwards, these cooler temperatures. And you can see by Thursday afternoon, you can see temperatures really only picking up in the far east towards London into East Anglia and northeastern areas, maybe 23, 24, 25 degrees. Widely, temperatures around 18, 19, 20 degrees will feel pretty muggy out there. And there will be, of course, the thunderstorms and showers taking off. Um, so we can see areas of really nice sunshine. But then within half an hour, we can see the clouds build and see some big storms around. You can see by Friday, temperatures are still pretty high overnight still 15 16 degrees if we still have these pretty muggy air around but it's slowly going to be drifting away as cooler fresher atlantic air does build in if we do have a look at the precipitation rate from the arpege run you can see field shower around at the moment but by wednesday lunchtime you can see heavier showers build into southern parts of wales down into the southwest and parts of ireland as well we see that rain push northwards and then we do see a wider thunderstorm outbreak through thursday afternoon into the evening for sort of diminishing away and by friday more widespread showers are around if we do now have a look at the icon have a look at the temperatures and the precipitation you can see this afternoon once again forecast around 26 27 degrees uh, maybe 28 29 degrees in a few spots and of course we saw 30 degrees in north alt beyond that as we head to wednesday afternoon you can see another beautiful day especially in central areas and eastern areas again across the southwest and parts of southern ireland a bit cooler as we do have cloud rain and thunderstorms potentially moving in 
By Thursday, you can see widely temperatures are down. You do see in the east, we still have 24 degrees, maybe the odd 25 degrees, but widely temperatures are going to be suppressed as we do have cloud and showers and storms taking off. Um, but maybe if you are in the east, you may just squeeze another warm and hot day out of this sort of three, four day heat wave we have had. As we head through to Friday, you can see temperatures once again, maybe 22, 23 degrees in the Far East, as we still do have some warm air around, but it is cooling off. And by Saturday, you can see temperatures are down maybe once again to 21, 22 degrees. But you can see in the Northwest, where we do have cool rest starting to push in, it is looking um, like it's going to be turning back to sort of mid-teens, maybe high teens in a few spots. If we do have a look at the precipitation, you can see those showers building into the far southwest tomorrow with thunderstorms taking off potentially across southwestern areas, southern Wales, into Ireland as well. And then you can see across Thursday afternoon a more widespread area of storms taking off across the Midlands, parts of Wales, into northern England and northern Ireland, Ireland and Scotland as well, a few showers around. Icon is sometimes, well, it definitely does sort of overdo the widespread nature of these showers. They will be more scattered. There will be sunny breaks between the showers. Um but you can see generally where the highest risk is. As we head through to Friday, more widespread showers around. Not as heavy, but still a lot of scattered showers and probably some thicker cloud around for some, as we do have low pressure or lower pressure pushing in off the Atlantic with a bit uh, fresher air pushing in as well. If we do finally have a, a look at the UK Met Office run, you can see temperatures this afternoon According to the UK Met Office run, we're up 28, 29 degrees. We saw 30 degrees in London area, so maybe a degree or two warmer than this. Um, and we have to keep an eye on, on of course, Met Office as they may come out, of course, um, while I'm doing this video or maybe afterwards, um, saying we beat that 30.1 degrees in North Isle potentially. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, uh, especially on social media feeds. But you can see still mid to high 20s widely. By Wednesday, we saw temp we'll, we'll hopefully see temperatures rise once again until mid-20s, maybe even high 20s in a few spots, 28, 29 degrees is possible. But you can see a very strong temperature gradient. Far in the far southwest towards Cornwall, only 17, 18 degrees, whereas we push toward Bristol, um, you can see 27, maybe 28 degrees in parts of Wales, 28, 29 degrees. There will be a very strong drop-off between where we see the thunderstorms break out and where we do see some nice sunshine. So yeah, could be... Um, a miserable day for some as we see these showers and storms break out, whereas only maybe 50 miles away, it is really quite pleasant with warm, hot sunshine. So some areas will unfortunately be missing out on another day of hot weather. As we move through to Thursday, while we have more widespread showers and thunderstorms breaking off, you can see only 22, 23 degrees in the Far East, widely around 19, 20, 21 degrees as we do see those showers taking off. By Friday afternoon, um, we can see temperatures, once again, maybe 23, 24 degrees. So it could be a reasonably nice day, maybe a bit more cloud and a few showers around, but nothing too uh, major in terms of precipitation on Friday. Maybe just a few odd showers around, of course, again. Saturday, once again, a little bit cooler, maybe 20, 21 degrees, as we do have fresher air pushing in. If we do have a look at the precipitation rate, you can see minimal showers around at the moment, and then those showers and storms start to push in from the south, far southwest and really start to take off around lunchtime, forming into a bit of a band there, um, moving up from the south. And we could even see some storms punching into the London area, maybe through early Thursday, more central areas. Um, and again, lightning activity really depend on what time of day you see these showers and storms um, and whether um, they sort of do take off, as there will definitely be some showers around that just stays rain, others that really take off. You can see, you can see through Thursday afternoon, widespread thundery outbreak across central England, parts of wet, uh, Ireland, uh, parts of Ireland as well, into Northern Ireland and Scotland as well. Uh, and you can see these really quite small but sharp showers where we could see some lightning activity. That does move through. By Friday, it does look like there will be another day of sunshine and showers. Um, I don't suspect there will be as many thunderstorms around as the Cape does look like it's a little bit diminished. But we'll have to keep an eye on, on what happens on Friday. So it's maybe... Uh, 12 to 24 hours too far out really to make anything too definitive on the forecast but for some areas it will be quite a, it will be a fine day um, where we do see some nice sunshine other areas we may see more showers and the potential for a few storms around 
by Saturday, maybe still a few showers around, but feeling a little bit more pleasant, especially in the south. And because we've got low pressure influencing us, we're always going to have the odd shower here or there. Um, there's always going to be the risk of some areas taking showers, as you saw by Friday. Some areas may get away with a really nice, beautiful day. Others may get peppered by showers. So it really is going to be the luck of the draw over the next few days as we do see um, these thunderstorms and showers take off. If we do lastly have a look at the GFS ensembles, just have a brief look at the longer term outlook. Don't want to go into this too much detail as well as contract on the storms and the temperatures. You can see at the moment really quite warm air. As it st starts to diminish over the coming days, you can see shower activity does build up with thunderstorms around. We do dip to below average for the start of next week. Before we do sort of pick up the two around average or above average once again as we have south southwesterly winds but we still got a lot of shower activity around so still be some precipitation and maybe some more thunderstorms and in the longer term outlook it does look around or above average nothing too hot coming out or nothing too cold either so just looking decent no massive deluges on the precipitation spikes it doesn't look like there's gonna be massive stormy weather there was the potential of that a few days ago as the jet stream powered up, but it definitely does look like that um, ex-Hurricane Larry, which is going to be really influencing the jet stream over the coming days, isn't going to spin up into a low pressure system that's going to be affecting the UK. If we do lastly have a look at the mean sea level pressure, you can see it's dropping over the coming days as we have low pressure pushing in off from the southwest. Then it does rise by the weekend and early next week to sort of weak high pressure sort of in between weather systems so can be some showers around but no massive deluge you can see that's pretty consistent throughout the middle of september a bit of deviation within the ensembles and we'll have to keep an eye on if any of those do come to fruition so anyway make sure to go out and enjoy this hot weather while we have it and if you do enjoy thunderstorms i hope you do see some over the coming days and you do get out there and enjoy it so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon